Okay, good morning everybody. This is Mr. Waterworth. We're going to be working on a programming on the Prototrack ELX lathe this morning. We're going to be doing the large top. Uh, this is your first big project on programming, so I'll try to go as slow as possible and not sound too confusing. Uh, as you know, when you start up the Prototrack, you should see this screen right here, the main screen. It's got all the different functions listed down here with the keys next to them. A DRO is what you're used to using. Uh, you, what you're going to use today is the programming mode. It says PROG. So, if you're not in this mode screen, make sure you press the mode key. Alright, so if you're somewhere else, make sure you press the mode key, it'll bring you to this screen. The second step, since we want to start a new program, is to press the program key. And it's going to be empty. There's really nothing going on in here. Uh, there's a couple of commands down here, but you've really got no information. Event number zero means there are no, there's no information in here. Each chunk of information is an event. So first thing you need to do is decide on a program number. You can choose anything you want. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. And this ABS set button here will be used like our enter button. Okay, so when we, go to, we want to enter information for anything, we want to hit ABS set. Now stay away from the ink set, okay, well in, in these right here. Just use the ABS set. And this brings us to event one. It's still empty. We have no idea what we're doing with it yet. There's a lot of options. Uh, you can do a positioning move, which moves it really fast. A uh, drilling cycle, a turning cycle turning an arc, and then this is more key down the bottom. We're actually going to hit the more key, and it's got a few more things, cycle, thread, and repeat. What we want to do is start a cycle. So we'll hit the cycle key, and it lists all the information that we have to put in there. But it's still empty. So, <clears throat> This is where it begins, on the X, which is the diameter. I'm, I want to show the finished part profile before I do anything, and then it's going to do some calculations for us to do roughing passes. So all i got to do is describe with this what the finished part profile is. So it begins at X of zero, so I'll go zero, absolute, and it begins at Z of 0.1. The number of passes, that's, that's uh, how many times it's going to rough cut before we do some finishing work. So it splits it up into a bunch of different cuts automatically for you, and they're all the same amount. So I'm going to, I worked this out at 14 passes, so it's going to take 14 different cuts. The approach, well, you got to decide whether it's along the X. Uh, you know, the X is in and out, up and down on, on the diameter making it bigger and smaller so it would be going this way. The Z is going back and forth this way towards the chuck away from the chuck. We're going to be going towards the chuck so we're going to say Z absolute set. Feed rate is how fast that the cutting tool moves past the work. Um, again through some experimentation I, I figured that the number 12.0 works well for this. Tool number, we're going to just use tool number one because we're only going to have one tool. The finishing cut, that's the amount that I want left after all the roughing is done up here. Just to leave a little bit to skim, so I'll go 0 .005 thousandths of an inch, just a little bit. Nice clean cut. And we're going to slow the finish feed rate down so it's much smoother. So I'm going to put 7.0 right there. And the finish tool is going to be the same as the, uh, the, the original tool number. I'm not going to change tools for this, so I'll just keep it at tool one. And now what it does is it jumps to event two automatically, but it's empty. We've got to tell it what to do. Now the cycles, you'll notice, look uh, different, right? The options down the side. What we're going to start with is cycle turn. So just press the cycle turn event. And then just a little bit of information. So now it's saying, all right, where are we going from here? We started at zero on the X and point one on the Z, but where are we going? 
from that point we got to go to x of one inch X of zero and Z of zero. So we're going to stay on the X and it's just going to move in towards Z zero. We do that move, we start a little bit away over here so it doesn't crash into the pot. So now it feeds in nice. And then this chamfer, we're just going to hit z zero absolute set for now for the chamfer. We're not going to worry about the chamfer. All right, so we're going to do another cycle turn. So we hit that again, cycle turn. So now we're going to move from that point to x of 1 inch and z of minus, because we, if we start at, say, say this is the front of the part of the chuck, uh, before we get to the chuck, right? This is the front of the part. Going in that direction, if this is z0, that's got to be negative, right? So we're going to go z of minus 0.5 and 0 chamfer. And we're going to do another cycle turn. And this time we're going to 1.730 on the X and a negative 1.500 on the Z and zero chamfer. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting really close. One, another, another move we're going to do is a cycle turn. Gonna stay at minus 1.730 on the X. Oops, I'm sorry, I, I made I made a mistake. Let's go up here. Change it to 1.730. It goofed. It happens. And negative 1.6 on the Z. So it stayed the same on the X. And then it just moved a little bit further on the Z, so we'll make a little bit of a flat on top, on the, the end of the top. And of course, zero on that. Another cycle turn. We're gonna bring the tool away from the pot now. We're done cutting. So, I'm gonna go to X of 1.850. So that brings it further away from the pot. And the Z is going to end at the same point that it was on the last event. Minus 1.6. And no chamfer. So from here, that, that just described basically the finished profile of the pot. But we've got all kinds of material that we've got to remove. And in order for this cycle to work, we've got to get the tool bit from where it is all the way back and then down to that original position. Okay, so we're gonna do two moves, like an L shape. So one straight across this way and then one straight down. And those events are called cycle positions. So the first thing we wanna do is we don't wanna change the X. If we move on the X, it might crash into the pot. We just wanna move straight along the Z. So we're gonna leave the X the same. We'll call X 1.85 absolute set. But Z we're going to bring back to the original position which you might remember was the Z was 0.1. And then to get back to the original point that we had way down at the beginning we're going to go another cycle position. The X end if you remember the, the beginning X at the beginning of the program was 0 and we're going to leave the Z the same as the other one. We don't want to move anything on the Z. We don't want to do this, right? We just want to go straight in so the Z doesn't move. Point one. And I noticed something odd going on back here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go mode, program, go to beginning, and I want to go through this page forward key, I can go through all my cycles, and I think I made a mistake. My cycle position should be Z of 0.1. Somehow, I did that wrong. 
this looks good. Okay, so what we can do now <coughs> is we can check to make sure that there's no issues with the program. So I'm going to change modes. And I'm going to go to what's called the setup mode. And I use this thing for a lot of different things. Uh, setting out tools, which we'll learn how to do. But one thing we can do is we ch can check the toolpath right here by just pressing the button. And we can see that there is all kinds of problems here. This, All these should be going this way, okay? I got some problems going on, which means I've got a bad number in here. I put a Z positive where there should have been a Z minus somewhere. So let's go back into the program, hit the mode key, hit the program, go to beginning. Let's start checking this out as I go page forward. So I got at a beginning at X0, Z.1, okay? X0, Z0, absolute. Here we go. Z end 0.5. That should have been Z end. I'm sorry, what I didn't tell you was uh, these, these up and down keys will let you toggle through an event. So I use these to go up and down. Um, Z is minus 0.5. See what a, <clears throat> a negative or a positive can do and really screw you up, right? I think that was the issue. So let's go back. Mode. Setup. Toolpath. Ah, perfect. So what you see is all the roughing cuts here, okay? So all roughing cuts. You see the finish cut, which gives us a profile. It only shows you half of it. You kind of get a kind of picture that's going on here in two pieces. But since it's a lathe, it only does the cutting on one side, right? As the pot rotates around it. So you're seeing the rough cuts from from X, X plus all the way to X zero. 